All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. <laughs> I'm going to show you the, we're going to learn to read the spaces in the Trouble Club game. So there's more than one way to skin this cat. And one thing that can be fun for you, and I bet yours will be prettier than mine, is to make a game out of it. Make you some cards. So I've made some flashcards. These are big because, you know, I just found some paper in the back. And, you know, this is a high, high expense operation here. So I wrote it out in pencil. <laughs> Yours will be prettier. I promise. Yours will look great. So on one side of the paper, what you will need to draw, if you can see. I'm just going to use this for an example right now. You're going to need to draw the five lines. Remember, we went over that. There are five lines. One, two, three, four, five from the bottom to the top. Four spaces. One, two, three, four. Remember, we talked about that. Use your hand. E, G, B, D, F. These are the lines of the treble clef. <laughs> and remember, right now, this set of cards is the spaces, which are, remember, we made up a little jingle. F, A, C, E. That spells space. <laughs> All right, so... Without further ado, on your card, you draw the five lines in four spaces. Then you draw this. Remember, this is your treble clef. Yours again, like I've said before, yours will look better than mine. You do your line, you whoop de whoop. Remember that the circle thing right here needs to be where the G is, because it's really the G clef, because the treble clef is the G clef, yes, boys and girls. So, you're going to draw your note. I shaded mine in and put a stem on it. That's called a quarter note. That's a whole nother set of videos. But put your circle here. See, this is this is on one side. What I did on the back is I put the answer. So see, you can play this fun-filled game with your family. Have your mom hold up the cards. And, you know, you say, okay, got my cards. Maybe I should mix them up real quick. <laughs> so, yeah, I like they're really on card stock, like index cards. That'd make it better. If you do it on index cards, see, then you can really shuffle them like cards. This is just paper. This is just kind of pretend like, like how we might want to do it. So, you know, they would hold them up. Okay, here's this one. And see, they can see the answer on the back, which this is C, see. And then you go, uh, C. Then when they get it, look, they drop it. Then they go the next one. You go, oh, what is that? And then you're like, hey, Mara, E. You time yourself. F. A, okay, then you mix them up and do it again. It'd be great since it's four notes, because this is the spaces. So you do a whole nother set of cards on the lines, right? Maybe one week you practice just identifying the spaces and make sure you mix them up so you're not memorizing the order, you know. Then from there, start timing yourself. Maybe start and see if you can answer all four of those within eight seconds. That'd give you like two seconds per card. Then, once you get that down, start shaving the time down. Can you answer it before the timer goes off? Get it down to four seconds, maybe three seconds. And then, you know, if you can do that, you'll have it. You'll know your four spaces from sight just from looking at the cards and practicing the game a few times. It does take two people to do it that way. And someone with a timer where you either set the timer for the time so it'll make a sound an alert sound when you're done or you can have somebody time it with a stopwatch then you know maybe you could quiz your family see who can get it done the quickest who can say them the fastest you know who knows maybe mom can say them the fastest whoever gets it fastest in your house y'all could come up with some sort of prize like I don't know whoever can say them the fastest gets dessert or Whoever says it the fastest doesn't have to do dishes that night. Or, you know, I don't know. Whatever a chore is, you could do, like, less of that chore. Or you could get an extra piece of candy or something. Anything. Oh, maybe it means that you don't have to make your bed that day. Oh, don't say that. You might get in trouble over that. Yeah, we aren't going to be, like, not doing things we should be doing. <laughs> Let me cut that idea. But still... Just knowing, you know, okay, I'm looking at my cards. I dropped them on the ground. You know, okay, E. <laughs> you know, that'd be awesome. And see, the answer's on the back. So whoever's quizzing you and hold the cards, they don't have to even know how to read the music because they've got the answer written on the back. Make sure you write it so you can't see. This is bad. If I really hold up the light, you see the answer. 
So you want to make sure that you do it on cardstock to see you would be able to cheat and see the answer through on that. Yeah, don't be doing it that way. We want you to really learn how to read the notes. So, yeah, maybe have them hold it this way so there's not like light shining through it. <laughs> All right, well, have fun with my uh, note card, how to learn the notes game. I like the best part about it is the timing and then tossing stuff on the floor for just a second. You ought to see the floor right now. Let's see. Yeah. I've made just a bit of a mess. I think it's time to clean up here. This isn't my room after all. It's just where I teach. So happy uh, note reading. Remember, the space is F-A-C-E. They spell face.